H3. You. Okay, I'm Hannah, and I like to dance. I like to dance because it's fun. I'm not really good at it, but it's kind of fun. And I've actually learned to take a lot of things fun because when I was in New Zealand, we went to this water park, and it was probably like the coolest thing ever. They had the blob there, and I'm usually not afraid of heights because I was on an airplane for 24 hours going across the ocean and all that. So I never realized how afraid of heights I was until that moment because I was you like walk up this platform and there's this huge blob and it's thing you jump onto and you go flying up in the air. And so I go up there and I have my helmet on and I'm just like, okay, I can do this. And I get up there and I look down and I'm just, oh my gosh, I freaked out. I froze and I couldn't, and he's like, one, two, three. And I couldn't jump at all. So I'd go down and then I'd do something else and I'd go back up and it repeated about five times. So the fifth time, probably my last time we were about to leave and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I get up there, and I'm just standing up there for 15, about 15 minutes, seriously. Just, oh my gosh, freaking out. And the people in the river, because this huge river, it's about 70 feet deep, and it's huge. And these people that are on the canoes are saying, jump, jump, jump. And the people behind me are yelling, jump, jump, jump. And I was, one, two, three. But my heart jumped, but I didn't jump with it. <laughs> so I left the water park, and I didn't jump off that. So <laughs> and I look back at it, and I'm just, I think I really wish I did that, so I learned a really good life lesson, and you should, probably should take risks in life, because you never know what you're going to do, and you might look back and regret it, so. Okay, this is me. I was I was very fat baby. Uh, I was born tax day, which is April 15th, 1996. My mom was in labor with me for 12 hours, and probably... <laughs> horrible experience, and uh, um, I was the first granddaughter, so I was the first child, and I'm still very spoiled to this day, and this is me homecoming this year, and a lot has changed in the past 15 years. So. Okay, this is my family. These people probably mean the most to me in my whole entire life. I love them to death. Do they know you used some of these pictures? <laughs> Mom. Just checking. <laughs> She's a teacher here, actually. Her name is Miss Champion. We don't have the same last name, so people always get us confused. But she does roller derby for fun, so she likes to go smash people in. And her name's Sassy Shooter. <laughs> I hate talking about it because it's so embarrassing. WWF on wheels. <laughs> she gets all excited, and she gets she walks out of the house with these fishnets and a short skirt and. I'm just, and she won't get home until really late, and I didn't get worried about her. And she'll come home with all these bruises, and she actually did her own makeup. You are so dead, I can see it coming. And yeah, when I showed her that I was putting this picture up, she kind of laughed, but yeah, that's my mom. Okay, this is my brother Brian. We fight constantly, all the time. And we, like for instance, last night we were fighting about who's going to empty the dishwasher, and then my mom's like, okay, you've been doing it evenly, so we had to flip a coin, and I ended up vacuuming, and Brian ended up emptying the dishwasher, and then later that night, he got the dog, and he got really, really mad. <laughs> and he'll pretty much do anything I say to do. If I'm sitting on the couch all the way downstairs, and I want something to drink, I'll just ask Brian, and he'll usually get it for me. But he'll, but yeah, he, he says he didn't miss me when I left, but I knew he did. Okay, these are my two little half-brothers, Colby, right here, he's the youngest, and then Connor, he's five. They are the cutest boys ever. I, see, I don't know where I'd be without them. Um, Colby, he was, when he was um, born, he was taken home, and then he got really sick, and he was taken to the hospital, and we didn't see him. I didn't see my mom for a whole week, because she stayed with him, and he was just a newborn, and he was diagnosed with like, ammonia. And he had water in his brain, I think. I'm pretty sure. And so he had to keep him there for a while, so I didn't get to see him. And it was really sad because they told us that he might not make it. So it's, he, I, he is, I'm really happy he's here. And I still think he's, he's really kind of strange. He'll just fall randomly, be walking outside, running around. And he has these long arms, and he'll be like running really fast, and he'll just fall. And then, uh, then my brother can't. Connor. He's extremely smart for himself. Usually we don't like to brag about it, but he 
but he just is in school now and he talks about it. He's really smart. He just he blows my mind when he says some words and he usually likes to punch me because Brian is they like to wrestle a lot. And they're obsessed with the Wii. They play it all the time, night and day. It's crazy. He's at daycare with my kids. Yeah, they go. Okay, these people, um, my aunt, uncle, and then my two twin cousins, Kai and Leo, they're the people that I went to with New Zealand, to New Zealand, and they mean a lot to me. They're pretty much my second family, and it kind of stinks because they live in New, New Mexico, so I don't see them that much, so it's really hard because we grew really close, and yeah, it's really hard. I thought you just said they were from New Zealand. No, they, I went to New Zealand with them. They went on a trip together. Oh, okay. Okay, that's my dad, and that's my cousin Tyler. My dad, he's actually about right here to me, and he's really, really skinny, because he's a jockey. He is about 120 pounds, and he doesn't like to eat at all. He actually refuses. He'll eat with about one Big Mac, and then he'll go about two weeks without eating. What? Yeah, it, I, and he'll drink, like, water or coffee or orange juice and then the only thing he'll eat is potato chips that's it and then because it's a really stressful job and it's really really hard and he probably he actually last year got in this really bad accident because he's a jockey and he was in the gate and the horse kind of flipped on him and he broke his neck and he was rushed to the hospital and it was really, really sad to see him because he couldn't move anything and he couldn't really talk and he broke his arm and he's probably one of the strongest person I know and and then like and it's really hard because I don't see him that much because my parents actually did get a divorce but if they didn't get a divorce I don't have no brothers and before the divorce I didn't really see my dad that much in the first place so it kind of brings us together anyway. So, and then my cousin Tyler, he was a bully to me when I was little. He would make me cry all the time. He would, we would be watching scary movies and he would tell, tell me all these horrible things to me and I'd go crying and go tell on him and nobody would do anything about it. So I hated seeing him, but now we're really close and yeah, we have a good time together. But, okay, so the down point in my life, it's actually happened this year. You notice that there's a person exit out of it, and it's actually my grandpa, because he was married to my grandma, which is right here, for about 20 years, and it's really hard to talk about, because I don't like talking about my feelings like that, but he actually walked out this year on my grandma, it was probably, I don't know how you can talk about it. He was, I mean, he was one of, he was a really big person that I looked up to. He actually taught me how to ski, and he, he brought a lot of good memories to us, and he just one day walked out of our lives, and I'm probably never going to see him again. And it really, it's really hard, because we had a lot of good times, and over the summer he takes us tubing, and he does all this fun stuff, and we go skiing together, and and we had, a, he was one of the person that inspired me because he's 74 years old and he's a ski coach and a tennis coach and he really inspired me and then for him to walk out of our lives like that just really makes me sad and it sucks, but. Can I, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but can I ask why, what'd he do, where'd he go? It actually, it's really disgusting to talk about, it's kind of, it's, I don't know. You don't know. have to, I'm just, yeah, I'm just curious, don't I just, worry about it. I don't really like nope, to say it. don't worry about it. But other than that, you can tell that I have a really big family and we're really close together. And this group of people right here, that's my aunt and uncle. And that's my cousin Zoe and we're really close. And she's about my age and she's the only girl cousin. Pretty much because it's all boys besides the two younger girls. So we get really close and there's a lot of boys in our family. Stupid question, the colors? Oh, we do family reunions together. So this year we did groups of family and we had like summer Olympics and we had like this huge chart of what country we were in, and we'd go play games, and then we'd have this big opening show, and it was really fun. That's too cool. Because we still do it every year, but yeah, we can move on. Okay, I take a lot of trips. 
These are in Mexico. I've been to, this is Ixtapa, and I've gone there about three times, and I love it. We go do a lot of fun stuff. I've gone parasailing there, which is right here. And my brother, when he went parasailing, he almost fell out of his thing, so he almost, he was really scared, but it was really fun. But then we go to Cabo San Lucas. It's known for its arch, and we went on a glass bottom boat and we saw that, and it was really, really cool. And it's, I love it there because it's just really beautiful and it's probably one of my favorite places. Okay, these are the things I really don't like. Okay, I don't really like deer because they make me so mad when they run out in front of you and you hit them and then they ruin your car and they just, I just really don't. And I don't like to hunt, but I'm for hunting because just to get rid of them makes me happy. <laughs> I don't like to hunt them, but when people hunt them and kill them, it makes me happy because they're not in the world. Because I really don't like them. And then smelly breath. When people walk up to me and you can just feel that nasty, it just makes you not want to talk to them. You just like, yup, okay, go away. <laughs> and then pretty much these are straightforward. I don't really like liars because if you're going to lie, then why tell me in the first place? And then mean people, if you're going to be mean, then... I'm probably not associated with you. It's just, I don't think, it just doesn't, I just don't like you too, but yes. Okay, um, I like to play sports. Um, I've played volleyball since seventh grade, and it's probably one of my favorite sports. I also, I don't have a picture of it, which I'm really mad about because I couldn't find it, but I did netball when I was in New Zealand, which nobody knows about. It's really cool because I was really good at it, and it's, this basketball hoop, but it doesn't have a backboard, and there's only certain people allowed in there, and you're, you can't dribble the ball, and you have to throw it, and it's really, really, really fun. I enjoyed it a lot, and I, over the summertime, I really like to water ski and surf behind the boat, which we do at my grandparents' house. Then when I was in New Zealand, I learned how to surf. It was seriously the hardest thing ever. It's I don't know how people do it, because I had a hard time. That was the only time I probably got up. I would fall all the time. And I've been skiing since I was two. I love it a lot. And then I've done track for a while. I'm not doing it this year because I'm just caught up with other things. And then I don't have a picture. I did cross country for about two years, but then kind of interferes with volleyball, so I can't really do it. But okay. Okay, New Zealand. This is my uniform. I had to wear a uniform and I went to an all girls school. Okay, I had to blur out my face because it was an awful picture of me. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It was a terrible <laughs> picture. It's, I don't even want to talk about But I had to wear this awful uniform, but I'm really, really glad I did because their fashion style was in the 80s. They actually wore mullets, they had rat tails. It was just really, really, really weird. Okay. This is me going down into the cave six feet into the ground. It was when I was the first one to go down there, and my Aunt Katie thought I couldn't do it after the whole blobbing incident, but I really wanted to prove her wrong, because I told myself I was going to do it, so I did it. And when I got down there, I had to wait down there by myself for everybody to come down. And I did, and there's, it's like an hourglass shape, so I get to the skinny part, and I was, actually had to wiggle myself through. <laughs> it was so, I was like, oh my gosh. And I had to do it myself, and there was nobody there to catch me, and so I had to wiggle through, and then I'd have to go all the way down, so I'd have to wait there. And it was so dark, if you put your hand in front of your face, you couldn't even see your hand. It was really dark. But that was one thing I did that was fun. Okay, this is the one thing I'm so proud of myself. I did the seven to eight hour hike. It was probably the awesomest thing I've ever done. And if you've ever seen the, Mount, if you've ever seen the movie Lord of the Rings, Mount Doom, I, that's where we climbed at. And it was awesome. It was about 13 miles of walking, and there was one point where we had to put on cleats, and we had to walk up. It was all uphill for the most part. And if you fell, you'd probably die and fall because it was a wind. And because you would look down, and it was just drop. How'd it go? Huh? How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, just, it was scary. And but then, so on the way back, I mean, we're walking down. It was. I wanted the, my feet felt like they were going to die and fall, they were probably, I felt my toes were off. I, we got to the sign that said, 
one hour and 45 minutes left, and at that point, I just wanted to like, go shoot myself in the face. <laughs> I was so mad. I had to wear these awful boots, and it was starting to rain, and I was I had to wake up early, and it was an hour and a half left of walking. I was, in my, I was so mad. I just sat there, and I just didn't want to move. And I, when I just, and I was just with my step grandma, and I'm just walking, and I'm complaining the whole time. I'm like, I hate this, I hate this. My feet are falling out. I just was complaining the whole time. I was so mad. But it was when we got up there, there's this huge lake, and it's called Crater Lake. It's gorgeous. If you're ever in New Zealand, I definitely recommend doing this. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. But, okay. This is the beach that was about less than 10 minutes away. I actually climbed to the top of that, Mount Monganui. We watched the sunset, I mean sunrise, and it was awesome. And I would go there all the time, and it was beautiful, and I loved it there. I, and making me look at this makes me miss it even more. <coughs> oh, and this is me absorbing. Um, it, it was awesome. And the end kind of passed me up. I want to do that so bad. You can play it. Your suit this is awesome. <laughs> Mulling her over. She must be going down the zigzag course. My aunt can't even do that now. It's like a gerbil in the ball. <laughs> to the most in my whole entire life. I love, love them all to death. Um, that's my grandma over there. She's really proven herself to me. And she makes me realize things don't get bad. And when, if something does bad happen in your life, you can always make it through. She's a fighter. And after what happened with my whole grandpa incident, she's, she's really inspired me that I know if something bad happens, I can probably make it through. And this is my Aunt Katie and my Uncle Nate. Um, they're the two big people that I really look up to. They push me for my dreams. They help me expand my educational growth, and they really help me throughout everything. They actually, they're ER doctors, they're emergency room doctors, and that's what I want to be when I grow up. And they tell me that I can do it, and they always tell me I can, and I can, and I can. They always push me. And actually, a story with my Uncle Nate, we were at the Lime Marino Park, the park with the whole thing, and the uh, there's a diving board and I was really scared and he pushed me off the diving board because he's like, oh, I'll come help you and you know, he actually pushed me off the diving board but I'm really glad he did because it was really fun and I loved it but, and that's my mom, I love her and she used to get fights a lot but yeah. That's my room, um, nothing much to it. I just decorated it this past month but I like having my room decorated with my pictures from New Zealand because I like waking up to it and seeing what I've, all I've done. Nothing, that's the New Zealand flag too, but yeah. Okay, these are my friends. Brianna, Rachel, Colby, Brian, Callie, with, who I met this year. I'm really glad she came to our school because she's awesome. And then my friend Emily, she goes to a different school, Marbella. She's awesome. Um, you can just go. Just gonna this is my best friend Zoe. She's from New Zealand. <laughs> and she's, we had the best time together. And yeah, I'm really glad I met her and I missed her a lot. And she's probably, yeah, she's really awesome. And I can be myself around her, clearly. She's awesome. And that's my best friend Whitney. I love her so much. This is actually, I tried to make it a timeline. Like, this is eighth grade year. We met, that's when we first became best friends. She's like my sister to me. She's actually coming to Florida with us for spring break. I'm really excited. I'm really glad she's in my life. She's the strongest person I know, and she's always there if I need her. She's my shoulder to cry on. She's my, I love her, and I seriously don't know where I'd be without her. But that's, 
And then I have my one more. And that's my Excellent. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs>